Hello, hello everyone, Dr. Jason Silva here, and today I'm going to be introducing data analysis in Excel, and specifically we're going to be looking at cases and variables. So first of all, a few important concepts and vocabulary to understand. Excel is a program that uses statistics to conduct quantitative data analysis. As you'll remember, quantitative analysis differs from qualitative analysis in that it uses statistics instead of interviews and observations. Statistics are used to collect, organize, analyze, and interpret numerical information from a data sample or population. A population refers to the data from every individual of interest, while the sample is data from only some of the individuals of interest. So here we're looking at mass shooters. As you know, I'm a mass shooting scholar, and I've collected all of the instances of mass shootings between 2018 and 2019. Here we'll see all of the shooters, and these are what we would consider the cases or individuals under examination. This is only a sample of the population of attacks over the last 50 years. In other words, it only looks at cases from 2018 to 2019. It does not look at all mass shootings over the last 50 years. However, we can use a sample of instances in order to make educated guesses about the overall population. Now the first column shows all of the mass shooters in each of the rows, as well as the variables for each of these mass shooters. So for instance, age is a variable, sex is a variable, the date of the attack is when the mass shooter engaged in the attack, handguns used refers to whether or not the attack involved a handgun, rifles used refers to whether or not the attack involved a rifle, and shotgun refers to whether or not the attack involved a shotgun. Now, Many of these instances involve more than one gun type, and this is what the final column is measuring. So again, these are the individuals under examination, otherwise known as the cases, and these are the variables examining each of the individuals. Now, if we want to dig a little deeper into the data and using Excel, Let's look at, for example, age. Age is what we would call a continuous variable. And if we wanted to organize it by age, we would simply go to data up here. We'd go to A to Z. And this is something that only occurs in a Mac. It may not occur uh, if you're using it on a PC, so do not worry. Um, and here you'll see we've now sorted it by the age. Now, the first originally was Timothy Smith but now he's been shifted down here. You see all of the other variables have remained in the rows they were in, so this does not mess up your data. It simply organizes this particular variable, the age variable, in the column. Now it's easier to see that the youngest perpetrator's age was 17, and the oldest perpetrator's age was 54 over the two-year period under examination. Let's look at another example. If we look at the sex, we see that this is a binary variable. Um, in other words, sex looks at whether or not someone is a female or a male. Uh, female is coded as zero and male is coded as one. So we see that there are a total of, and you can check the total down here, 15 males and only one female who engaged in a mass shooting over this period of time. Now, later on, when we get into sort of hypothesis testing and inferential statistics, we could make an educated guess that given the sample of cases over this two-year period, we might suggest that the overall population of mass shooters is largely males, and this is in fact true. Um, let's look at, for example, handguns used now. Now, let's say we're interested in how many of these 16 instances involved a handgun. We would highlight by pr pressing uh, shift and then clicking. We'll see that there are of the 16 cases or individuals in this population, there are 10 that involved handguns. So this is one way to look at it. Another way would be to organize it, sort it, and it, you can similarly and as you can see, there are six individuals who did not use handguns and 10 individuals who did use handguns. Now, if we wanted to add this up, we could say, okay, there's 10 individuals who used handguns. There is eight that used rifles. 
and there is three that use shotguns. In other words, we could find out that between 2018 and 2019, the majority of mass shooters used handguns, followed by rifles, followed by shotguns. So once again, these are what we would call the cases or individuals under examination, the mass shooters. The variables past the mass shooters are what we are examining, the variables or the characteristics of each of these individuals or the incidences. And finally, something else to consider, when we are coding, we know that female and male are what we call the attributes. So female is an attribute of sex, male is an attribute of sex. These are not what we would call the variables, they're the attributes of the variables. In this case, it's a binary variable, in handguns used, it's a binary variable, and so the attributes are yes, no. In other words, no handgun was used zero, yes, a handgun was used one. And that concludes this simple introduction to Excel and data analysis. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns.